Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another awesome and fantastic Black Rocket livestream. Once again we have another round of Battle Royale coming your way. This time all the competitors are from Mohawk Valley Community College. There will be nine of them competing in a free-for-all and the top three placements, that is first, second, and third, will be gaining points in the totals of five, three, and one. At the end of three matches, we will then figure out who our winner is and that person will be crowned victor of today's Battle Royale competition. All right, so all of the players are already in the lobby, but just before we load in, um, I'd like to just give a quick shout out. Uh, obviously. Go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash brpclips. Follow us here live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash blackrocketllc. And last but not least, as always, a huge thank you to our sponsor, Simply PHP. For all of your custom web programming needs, choose Simply PHP. All right. So we got all of our competitors in the lobby here. I'm going to go ahead and start that match for them. And in just a moment, we will see where they'll be spawning in. All right, so taking a quick peek at things up above right now, um, the only biome that I see so far that looks familiar to uh, matches that we've had earlier today is this waterfall right here. There seems to be a lot of nice chests in this area, or at least nice chest placements, uh, just due to the fact that most of the ground is pretty flat. There's really not too many places to hide things. Uh, back there in the corner, we see a nice desolate landscape, a lot of things that can actually have energy drawn from it. All right. So here we go, it looks like we have uh, Nats, Kid, and Phoenix spawning in all in the same place. Let's see who is going to be able to quickly grab a chest and make that first um, approach to another player. It looks like Phoenix going quickly to a chest, maybe not. Phoenix already has a wand, uh, taking some shots at Kid and immediately going to take him down. Phoenix now has one takedown. Nats looking for a wand as well. Looks like we might see another uh, quick encounter here. Phoenix. Nats really has no way to fight back. Nats gonna get taken out, and Phoenix now has two takedowns under their belt. Taking a look at Mochi here, Mochi's drawing in some energy, definitely preparing for that late game action. Toasty with a pretty strong wand under their belt as well, gonna be swimming in towards that castle that we've seen a couple times before. Um, taking a look at FaZe, FaZe now has a chest for themselves, gonna be able to grab some nice loot here. Black Knight grabbing some wands as well off in the distance in the waterfall biome. Taking a look now, we see uh, Black Knight venturing through the outskirts of the waterfall area, going into this town maybe. We see Mochi off on the other side gathering energy. Not sure if Mochi has a wand yet. I'm interested to see how this interaction goes. Mochi uh, doing a little dance for us down here. Thank you very much. Um, and over here we have Clap. Uh, Clap is grabbing a chest right here real quick as well, uh, definitely noticing that there are other people on the up outskirts of where he is located, definitely maybe looking to make some plays in the aftermath. Uh, Mochi op opting to go inside this building, there is a chest in there, gonna grab some um, items while in the safety of that building, no one else knows you're in there. Phoenix is making their way over towards this building as well. Uh, Mochi definitely gonna be seeing him. Phoenix taking the first shots here. Let's see who is going to win in this encounter. Phoenix taking some early shots, trying to deal as much damage as possible with that orb. Mochi opting to switch weapons, maybe going back to the auto once again. Auto coming out from both players here. Let's see who takes the victory. Phoenix using some of that uh, ground advantage to avoid some of the shots a little bit easier. Definitely a prolonged firefight. Phoenix looking like he's opting to retreat. Mochi going to stay on the chase here, looking to definitely get this takedown as quickly as possible. Very, very close match here. Both players seemingly evenly skilled. Mochi firing off a lot of shots right now. Phoenix trying to retreat away with that orb one, maybe running a little bit low on mana from the takedown from earlier. Mochi snaking in and out of these shots really well right now, and Phoenix is going to go down. Mochi taking the victory there. Let's go see what else is going on here. As you can see, Black Knight scouring the landscape here, looking for another opponent. Maybe not noticing Mochi was off to the side fighting Phoenix. Um, Mochi now looking for more things to pick up. Toasty gonna be hanging out in here, hiding under the water using the rainbow bridges. A smart idea, but unfortunately gonna get smoked out by the zone here. 
I'm not sure if Mr. Toasty has realized that unfortunately he is going to be taking damage here. He definitely wants to make this escape as quick as possible. He does not want to sustain a lot of that damage. He may have to waste a potion here just to get back to full. Black Knight once again still out on the prowl here. Mochi just shifting around some wands here. Not too sure which ones they want to keep. Trying to make sure that Arsenal's strong. Mr. Toasty, like I said, using some of those potions to keep strong before he runs into another opponent. Black Knight now on the move, looking for Mochi. Looks like he's going to make the chase. Taking some early shots. Unfortunately, none of them are going to connect. Has Mochi realized that Black Knight is behind him? Black Knight opts to not follow and maybe run off into the distance. Collect more weaponry. Get some more things before the next fight. A smart move, of course. Gonna take to the bird's eye view once again here. Uh, Mr. Toasty draining some more energy out of these trees. Realizing that some of them actually have their energy drained already. Black Knight out in the distance looking for more chests once again. Maybe grabbing something new. Finding the llama. Now, does Black Knight know that he can draw energy from this llama to build a lot of things with? That will definitely be helpful in some of these uh, late game engagements, especially with there only being three players left. Depressed Mochi finding um, another chest to himself. Going to be a nice quick little round of pickups, maybe looking to grab these potions just to be topped off and ready to go uh, for fighting his final opponents. Looks like Mr. Toasty is going to be finding Black Knight over here. Let's see what's going on. Black Knight going to get taken away before I can even snap to it. Mr. Toasty, unfortunately, running out into the zone once again. Maybe scouting for a chest. Um, not opting to grab any of the things that uh, Black Knight dropped. Mr. Toasty now seems like he is prepared to take on Mochi in the final battle. As the zone closes in here, both of our players seemingly uh, know each other's location. Or at least Mr. Toasty probably has an idea here. The zone is closing in slowly, and both players are slowly making their way towards each other. Now, is Mr. Toasty or uh, Mochi going to opt for uh, maybe the building strategy or hiding amongst these mountains? We will find out momentarily. Mr. Toasty taking some warning shots here. Definitely found where Mochi's hiding. Mochi staring into the tree almost for a little bit too long. Mr. Toasty going to get a lot of shots off here. And that is going to be the victory for Mr. Toasty taking round one all to himself. We're going to take just a second to get all of our players back into the lobby. And we'll be right back with another round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another uh, exciting round of Battle Royale here. In that first one, um, the players seemed to actually kind of drop a little bit more clustered than I had thought. Uh, originally, my idea was that a lot of them were just going to be scattered and spawn in different places, but we wound up having three spawn in one location, and the winner of that little uh, encounter of those three players actually wound up being one of the finalists. So it looks like... Um, the strategy, if you would call it a strategy, to drop near your opponents if are in, you know, if you are able to guess where they're going to drop and you drop with them and then take them out immediately, that can be a feasible strategy, but it's definitely going to be up to uh, the the player and the skill set behind the person sitting at the computer uh, to make those takedowns possible. Uh, all the students are already in the lobby and ready to go, so we're just waiting on the confirmation here. Uh, just for whoever's in there to launch the lobby and then as soon as we get going we will roll you right over to the game screen where we will see all the action and we are rolling in right now all right so once again we'll most likely see some of the things or some of the landscapes that we've seen already uh immediately i see a lot of mountains these are definitely interesting um especially in the last round in the stream before this we saw a lot of like vertical play we saw a lot of a little bit of building here and there, but we really saw a couple teams take advantage of the um, let's stand on top of a mountain strategy and kind of wait and watch and see where our opponents are before we make our next play. Uh, something that was actually really interesting to see was a lot of the players were opting to go for those uh, that big snowy biome with a huge bridge in between that crosses all the way through, and they would sit atop that and just kind of wait for other people to appear. And at that point, it was either rush or get rushed. So as we're here, 
Uh, looks like all of our players have dropped in. We've seen Black Knight, Mr. Toasty, and FaZe all seem to drop in this huge, um, like, in encased area uh, in between these mountains. We're going to be seeing them trying to grab some of these wands here. Black Knight and Mr. Toasty running in separate directions of each other. No shots fired as of yet. Black Knight going to be grabbing a wand here. So is Mr. Toasty. Mr. Toasty is going to be catching Black Knight totally off guard here. Is he going to be able to get the quick elimination before Black Knight is able to escape? Mr. Toasty on the chase right now. Black Knight just trying to escape um, by, by the skin of his teeth. And unfortunately, he is not going to be able to. Mr. Toasty going to be able to get that quick takedown. Let's go see what's happening on the other sides of the map. Looks pretty standard right now. Uh, looks like Clap is inside the big area as well. Going to get rushed by Mr. Toasty immediately. Is he going to get taken down as well? Oh, looks like Clap is going to be able to turn it around on Mr. Toasty. And that is going to be a quick takedown for Clap. Very nice play. Mochi looks like he's going to get run down here by Furious. Uh, going to be drinking a potion to quickly escape. Maybe switching to another one to try to turn around and get some shots fired back. Fury is going to be laying in with the Scatter Wand, but that is not going to be enough. Mochi is going to be able to take down Furious in another nice play. Now we see Phoenix on the outskirts of the map here, just grabbing resources, grabbing wands. Very nice. FaZe going to be going into another encounter with Mochi. Unfortunately, I just caught the tail end of that one. FaZe is going to take out Mochi right quick. And now, left on the battlefield, we have FaZe, Phoenix, Kid, uh, Nats, and I'm missing one. Clap, I think. Anyway, uh, so FaZe is going to be looting uh, some of the wands that he just accrued from his opponent's body. Uh, Kid is going to be taking a look around the outskirts of the map. Let's see uh, what else our good competitors are up to. FaZe is going to be actually getting pincered in this fight real quick. Now Clap and Kid are at it. Let's see who takes this victory. It looks like they're spinning around in circles. Somebody's got to take this. Clap going to be popping a potion. Kid pounding in with those orbs. It looks like Kid probably has the advantage here. Clap probably has so many potions from his opponents. Kid just trying to follow, doing as best as he can. Gonna be spinning around and gonna get tipped out by Clap's Scatter Wand. A very nice play from Clap. And now all we have is Clap against Phoenix in the final bout. Phoenix, a pretty good distance away right now. Actually, if they opted to take a seat... Where they are right now, uh, they'll have a great opportunity to get the jump on Clap when he comes around that corner. Looks like Phoenix looking for their opponent right now. Clap definitely seeming to have locked eyes here. Let's see what's going on from the player's point of view. Clap hiding behind this cactus. A great form of hiding, but unfortunately going to get picked out by Phoenix. And Phoenix is going to take the win using the Orb Wand. All right, another great show of skill from these players. They really know how to use these wands. We're going to take a quick break and get right back into the action in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here now for the final round of our Battle Royale Exhibition free-for-all matches. Uh, we have all of our players in the room and ready to go here, but just before we start, or as they're starting it, I am going to go ahead and give you our current score standing. So, at the top of the leaderboards right now, we have Toasty and Phoenix tied at 5 points. Mochi and Clap close behind at 3, and Black Knight and Kid54 at 1. So remember, a first place placement will grant you 5 points, a second place placement will grant you 3, and a third place placement will grant you 1. So, if either Toasty or Phoenix is able to make the top 2 here, they will win the whole tournament. Uh, but we will see what happens in this last match. As we saw last game, there was a bunch of competitors that really came out uh, of the shadows from behind us. Especially we saw that pincer play on FaZe. That play was amazing. Um, we saw that last final little battle between Phoenix and uh, the other player. It was actually an impressive play as well. I really liked the hiding behind the cactus uh, idea, but unfortunately it was not uh, enough to push that strategy over the edge. And now, like I see you guys are doing in this lobby here, use your building strategies. If you guys know how to do this, you should use it. I promise it will work in game. Throw up those walls, throw up those stairs. It will work just like it does in every other battle royale. 
All right. So we're still waiting on the OK Go here. We're waiting on the load in. Um, but before we get going here, uh, one more thing I'd like to plug before we get started. Uh, tonight we are doing an evening tournament uh, for our Battle Royale game where the winners will obtain a gift card. So if you guys sign into the title screen of our Battle Royale game, you will see a timer in the top right that says how long you have until the tournament begins. And when it begins, play matches and you will be able to win prizes. All right, so here we go, loading in. We see this huge uh, graystone snowy bridge that we've seen before. Uh, a lot of players seem to like that map. There's a couple chests that like to spawn up there. It could definitely be lucrative um, if only one or two players gets on it. So now we're going to be dropping in here. Let's see what the spread of players looks like. Looks like Nats and Mr. Toast are going to be off in this direction here. Nats going to be immediately grabbing a wand. Um... Looks like we have Clap and Phoenix and a whole slew of other players off to this side of the map here. Furious as well, going to be trying to grab a wand as quickly as possible and destroy their foes before uh, they get the upper hand on them. Clap opting to go out to the outskirts of the map. Phoenix going to be grabbing a chest. Furious going to be grab grabbing a chest here. Let's see what's going on on the other side. We now see FaZe grabbing a chest all to himself. Looks like he doesn't have too much competition on this side. Mochi over here, by themselves as well, over here in the waterfall biome. Gonna be grabbing some wands. Looks like we're seeing uh, Mr. Toasty uh, down in a valley here. N no one else around. Excuse me. We got Kid54 trying to scale this mountainside. Black Knight going to be absorbing some energy from, I'm not too sure what, but it's from something. Nats opting to use the outskirts of this map, using these uh, tall and annoying mountains as some sort of cover to traverse the outside of the map. Definitely not a bad strategy. Phoenix looking like we have a nice strong wand ready to go, ready to fight whoever appears on this side. Um, once again, just kind of looking for uh, the action. FaZe over here opting for the mountain. Looks like we see... Uh, some players are uh, opting for the building, but not doing too much with it. Uh, looks like it might be Mochi, who is now absorbing more energy from the things around to try to build some sort of a sky base. we we'll take over a look at Black Knight here, grabbing a chest for himself. Still standing, still absorbing energy from something. I don't know what. God Kid opting to go up to the top of this uh, bridge here. We are now hiding under the tree. We're going to be taking over this bridge for ourselves. Mr. Toasty and Phoenix looking like we have a battle going on over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get there quick enough. And it looks like Phoenix is going to be taking out uh, his opponent. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can snap back around to the action here. Uh, Kid looking like he's just going to be dropping off the side of the mountain here. Does not wish to hold... Uh, the bridge for that long maybe going to make an advancement on a black knight here who is still standing still uh, actually who is building now very very cool phoenix going to be making their way through the map Faye is going to be trailing this mountain now grabbing some items out of this chest kid looking to upgrade his arsenal in this chest here maybe grab that potion always important to have those black knight now using his height advantage to look around for other people no one really going to be spotted yet. Definitely notices that other building. Unsure if a player is still there or not. Phoenix going to be opting to run inside the dangerously encased zone with the storm against him. Can he grab any of these wands before he has to run out? And he's taking way too much damage. Faye is going to be making his way down the mountain here. Kid looking like maybe we've spotted an enemy all the way out here in Phoenix or just trying to traverse the map. Black Knight just going for this huge sky base strategy. Uh, I like this strategy, but in this current placement, it may not work. That storm is going to be on its way very, very soon. All right, we see FaZe rushing down from the build here, going to look like it's going to be an engagement uh, with God Kid. FaZe actually opting to just run straight through. Kid is now rushing towards Phoenix. Uh, unsure of where FaZe is going right now, but that's okay. Maybe looking for some extra stuff. Kid is going to be chasing Phoenix up the build here. Who is going to take the first shots? Phoenix immediately whipping out the scatter. And that is going to not only take down the build, but his opponent as well. That is incredible. 
FaZe firing off a warning shot here, not too sure where his opponents are. Maybe he was looking at the stream on the board up there. Hello, friends. Black Knight going to be sitting nice and pretty atop his sky base here, looking for his opponents. He definitely has spotted Phoenix over on the side. Unsure if FaZe has been noticed yet, he's still just waddling around on that base level. The player definitely to watch here is going to be Black Knight, now noticing that he has taken to what I've said almost and pushed his base almost towards the center of where the zone is going. The more he does this, the better chance he has of surviving the later game zones, as well as a height advantage when he engages with his opponents. As we can see, FaZe right here just opting for the, uh... Trying to get some different items out of the chest here, maybe upgrading the wands. Looks like Phoenix is coming up behind uh, Black Knight, but it was not enough. Maybe accidentally broke the floor underneath them. That is truly unfortunate. Black Knight here, um, just building up his defenses. FaZe is going to be roaming off into the uh, into the, the storm here, getting dangerously close. He's going to have to rush back into the zone, try to not take too much damage. Phoenix is going to be rushing into this lava area now. Are we going to see a fight between these two, and is Black Knight going to be involved? Looks like Phoenix noticed FaZe now, we're going to get the chase. Phoenix... Immediately swapping to the orb wand, knowing it does a great deal of damage at the distance it fires at. FaZe is going to be running away, but he is not fast enough, and Phoenix is going to take down FaZe with Black Knight and Phoenix being the last two competitors on the board. Unless Phoenix has some energy, now is going to be the time when he needs it especially to get back up and fix this hole that I think he created. Or Black Knight is literally just going to be able to sit up here in his box and, quite frankly, win the match from the storm. Alright, so Phoenix is going to be drawing out some energy here, just like I mentioned. Definitely a great play. Gonna need that energy to build some, um, some platforms of your own. Black Knight up here still waiting for Phoenix to approach. Uh, certainly not in any danger at all, unless he does this! Accidentally, the scatter wand breaks the ground from beneath him! Now Phoenix, if he realizes, can turn around and get the jump on Black Knight, but is he going to do it? Black Knight now quickly trying to react, maybe build something for himself, he's just trying to run away. Phoenix coming out with a barrage of orbs, Black Knight going to be forced into the zone here! What is going to happen? Black Knight forced to run away into the zone, Phoenix gonna chase him immediately, and pound him down with the scatter wand what a play i don't even think phoenix needed to rush into the zone there what he had going for him already the pressure that he was able to build and force black knight into the zone was already enough to win the match all he had to do was fire shots and keep him away from the safe zone and phoenix was able to win it right there but he said no he's gonna take it to the next level and that is going to win him the tournament for today all right. So Phoenix is going to be our winner with 10 points total. Toasty going to be running it up in the second place. That was a fantastic game of Battle Royale. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, you can catch all of our esports stuff live here at twitch.tv slash BlackRocketLLC. You can subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash brpclips. And once again, last but not least, thank you so much to our sponsor, Simply PHP. For all of your custom web programming needs, use Simply PHP. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a blast commentating for you guys, and we will see you again next time.